introduce yourself. Hello, KO, Courtney, and Coco. Sounds like a girl. This is a little preview. <laughs> We're in a very cool I'm car. Coco, the girl <laughs> Yes, no. and that's her tattoo. See? The Acura is um, is very safe. I saw a shitty accident yesterday. I was merging onto the freeway, and the whole back end of this Ford Freestyle was just fucking decimated. It was smashed, gone, and um, Whoa. yeah. So I feel very privileged to be in an Acura because they're very safe. You have your logo on the back of it too, the car. Hard as fuck. Yeah, I like that. That's right. You get a shot of that from the outside. Yeah, you gotta get a shot of that. Cool. All right. then I, what were we saying? My grandma. I said my grandma after her house blew up in that fire, right, mm -hmm. in San Bruno, because her shit was on the corner mm -hmm. of where the explosion happened, and. Uh, oh, she, folks! By the way, she has great arms. She works out. <laughs> so. Are you paying attention to the words coming out of my mouth? Yes. Are you looking at these? You're looking at this, aren't you? Both. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're lucky I don't have shorts on. Um, but anyway, she lost her car, obviously. And um, what was the fucking point of me bringing that up? Should I be parking here? Uh, I would not. Up, <laughs> up, up, up head, whole <laughs> I'm going to do some upper body. Um, okay. I'm going to do a little tiny bit of cardio because I just did legs yesterday. Mm -hmm. I should actually do hamstrings since I did quads yesterday, but... And we'll save that. Hey, so tell my viewers how you got involved in how I got involved in all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, bodybuilding. Um, I've always worked out. And I was always very athletic and uh, played sports. I had three older brothers that, especially one that used to whoop on me all the time. He was so mean. <laughs> so <laughs> I was always very competitive and um, enjoyed sports. And when I got to college is when I started lifting weights pretty heavily I don't know why but I, I did I just wound up in the, the gym and I loved it and it was funny because I went to Sonoma State University where they have the highest population of gays and lesbians mm -hmm. out of all the California State Universities and um, I had really really short hair really short hair shorter than that like, oh yeah like curious George short hair <laughs> that's another story <laughs> as to why that happened but um, long story short I'm in there right and I'm basically having an identity crisis because I'm getting kind of bulky and I'm like, why won't any of the guys talk to me? I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe it's because you have no hair, you're in the gym, dressed androgynous, and you have rainbow clips in your hair. I didn't know rainbow was like the gay pride symbol. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> rainbows are cool color. Yeah, rainbows are happy. Like, yeah, <laughs> but rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. <laughs> And I'm like, and they're like, hey, trying to, you know, flirt with some dude. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what is going on? And then I put two and two together and I was like, oh, yeah, maybe that's it. Or chances are they're probably just intimidated of my ass because I just I go in there and I just be fucking beating them up. How strong are you? I'm pretty strong. And how natural you best, chick. Um, how much can you breast press? My bench press in college actually was 185, which isn't remarkable, but it's it's decent. I mean, I don't have any boobs, and I refuse to get implants because, you know, to each their own, but it's like, you know, it's, shit, it's like a rock in a sock a lot of times. It's just, I I like boobs sometimes, you know, every, every once in a while very often <laughs> takes a very special lady you know i'm all about the dick but um did i just say that i did whatever oh. I shit. uh it was but bleeped. i wouldn't wanna, i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to touch that anyways my point i'm getting off topic i didn't want to get a man's chest mm -hmm. you know i didn't want a big old pectoral muscle with a giant because i have giant nipples with a mm -hmm. giant nipple on it so i backed off chest quite a bit and then when i decided to compete uh, mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year I went back to it and it's definitely gotten a lot stronger mm -hmm. my arms I can curl 45 pounds it's not pretty mm -hmm. I mean I curl 30 pounds for reps you'll get more of that don't worry they're just about 15 mm -hmm. But it's not just how much weight you can lift. I mean, being fit is, it encompasses being agile, you have endurance, flexibility, core strength. 
you know, it's drive. It's not just cool. I can pick up a weight and fucking curl it or squat it one time. It's, you know. Mm-hmm. Norse, general manager of Gold's Gym, thanks a lot. And um, this is going to be our setting. And you, you, after you do your thing, you'll be ready, right? Put on the spot. <laughs> Yeah, he's good at it though. Welcome to Goes Gym Oakland. It's a great environment for community unity uh, where we actually strive to uh, give our customers, ser- our customers the best customer service that uh, not only money can buy, but that our hearts can provide. And I'm, and I'm a proud member as well. Thank you, Dorothy. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Do you care? I don't believe it. <laughs> at the same gym, at the same time. What are the chances? You all are the know. chances. Other states, you know, right. California is where it's at. And she is Megan, she right? Megan Avalon. That's right. She sounds like, she reminds me of like Mickey Avalon or like some <laughs> famous like youngster running around ripping shit up, getting in trouble. I mean, look at this girl, show stopping. <laughs> I mean, they, come on, but Look whatever. at you too, look at you. Yeah, right. Whatever, right. we've got some exciting footage coming up from both of our websites, so I highly recommend you stay tuned. Stay tuned, that's right, for the latest and the greatest. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Great, how you doing? Alright. It's like his good. wet dream right here, right now. You know what I mean? Like, what are the odds we come in and here you are? He can't even talk. He's like, eh, but what? So, but well, I know, put your headphones back in. I hate doing cardio without music. You can get a shot of us from the back. Okay. Oh, sorry. oh. actually, no. I used to do um, like 40 minutes of cardio pretty much every day. Like I could not function until I did my cardio. I felt like if I wasn't sweating that much, then something was wrong. You know what I mean? It was really weird. And then once I got past that and realized, you know, I was wanting to get a little bit bigger. So doing all that cardio for long distance, you know, it really doesn't work for my body type. You got to find your balance. Um, now, for anybody starting to work out, is that they should also start always start with cardio? Well, it depends on what your goal is. If you're going for weight loss, you know, it depends on what your your medical history is, your injuries, um, you know, your current weight. So, I mean, generally speaking, it's always been that you know you warm up with cardio for five ten minutes, and then you want to work your muscles, and then you want to cool down with doing long distance cardio, whether it's you know 30, 40 minutes about the same inter, you know same uh, beats per minute with your heart rate so I mean for myself now I'd, I'll do like three or four days um, of interval training where you know one minute like you're gonna puke two minutes yeah, about 50 percent one minute you're gonna puke and then really focusing on um, your core you know yeah. that's how people say oh my god how'd you get your abs la 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 well whenever I'm doing whether it's the elliptical, mm-hmm. you know, I pull through my hips. Mm-hmm. So I'm on that motherfucker and I'm like this, right? Mm-hmm. And it's funny because I see this machine on TV, this new infomercial called the Cardio Twister. And it's just like, you know, they're just doing this shit. It's like you can do that on any equipment. You can do it on a treadmill, like walking up it and just pull through your hips. Mm-hmm. And I say it's all in the hips. Cool. It's all in the hips. Mm-hmm. It really mm-hmm. is, mm-hmm. you know, for your core. So. And visual, you know, visualization is really important. Just picturing the stomach you want to have, the abs you want to have. And really just tightening it. Get some good music. You've got to have good music. You've got to find something that drives you. Because if you don't, at least for me personally, I'll keep it in the what eyes. What are you listening to? Oh, everything from my boy Prince, who doesn't curse now in his new songs, which really is devastating to me because I really like to cuss. Feels good. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> Nine Inch Nails, Max and Priest. Police, Depeche Mode. I like Very Depeche eclectic. Mode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, like, I'll, I'm gonna put my my headphones in. You can watch just kind of how you can just pick up your own groove, but just keep it in tight, move through the hips, and really just pull, pull in these muscles, and you'll they'll start to develop up in here on the sides, especially for women. How men much time too. do you spend on your abs? How about your? Well, I mean, I drive around with my seat back. You know, so when I'm sitting up driving, I'm getting an ab workout. I mean, sometimes if I'm on the couch, so which that's is, deliberate. 
Oh yeah, it's deliberate. I've always, it's always been, my earliest goal as a kid that I can recall was to have a six pack. Kind of odd, right? I used to fantasize about riding around on a motorcycle like a crotch rocket with the dude on the back. <laughs> Isn't that weird? So I used to dream, I used to fall asleep like that. <laughs> Every night, like, what? hold on baby, what? Like that's just, it's so weird. And I did, I got a crotch rocket. And then I wrecked it drunk. Uh-oh. I still wrote it, but yeah, that's where that came from. So don't drink and drive. I highly don't no. recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> or drink and ride. Um, but yeah, now, I, you know my abs, I, I'll show you a little uh, ab routine I do too, if we have time. Because um, I'm going to actually have some, some big shit coming up that will help people have some variety. Because you, you just got to keep switching it up because your body gets bored. You know, you got to keep your music fresh. Um, that's just so important to me, man. If I don't have my headphones or my music, I'm like, eh, over it. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, just gotta mm -hmm. feel the rhythm. So what's okay. next? What's next, Chief? Yeah, what's next, Chief? Well, um, I'm gonna just do like five minutes of warming up, and you can uh, follow along, watch my feet, watch my, watch my abs. Okay. I'll actually, pull this up so you can see him. Get around from the front and see what I'm talking about. Guys, girls, old men, old women. I just like to feel good and be like, that girl just wink at me? I'm like 85 years old. Yeah, I did. You deserve a little attention too. But yeah, watch my abs. since we've got a really short workout. I'm just gonna bounce around. Okay. And I usually will do like some kind of little cardio in between. You'll see. I'll just hit it real quick. Let's do it. Go for it. So you wanna make each move deliberate. These are Zotman curls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on your way down, think of doing a hammer curl. Keep it flexed. And then on your way up, mm -hmm. flex. So it's a flex the whole, the whole way through the move. Right. See? Mm -hmm. Like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Keep your mm -hmm. wrist pulled in and your elbows tight to your body. And don't let your headphones get in the way. <laughs> don't recommend that. So you want to feel the flex all the way through the movement. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you're going to get your pump and your, your muscles bigger. So Zotman curls are a lot of a lot of fun. I like to do preacher curls. Yeah. Really to dig your elbow into the bench. Yeah. Oh, breathing is really important. You can just feel that just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's better to have proper form and do less reps. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask because there is that dilemma, you know, reps versus weight. Yeah. How much is that, 20? Or weight? Yeah. That's only 15 pounds. But it's better to slow down, have proper form, and get, get it done right the first time around. Mm -hmm. Headstands okay. and just stretch out my legs because 
it's so crucial that you stretch. It really is, and I neglected it for a number of years. And you know, if you have lower back problems, I can almost guarantee you a big part of that is understretched hamstrings. I mean, it's amazing, especially when you have legs as big as mine. Um, you know, it's so important. If you're How many inches are your thighs? Uh, 27. Yeah, and your IT bands, you're so Now, where's your IT band? Where's the IT band? It right runs here? down through here. Like now, for here. runners, that's important to stretch. That's right? important. Your psoas, which is right in here, is mm -hmm. super important. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all important. So I typically cause a major distraction when I do this, so it's good that there's a, a little hidden room. <laughs> <laughs> and then next time, we'll have to do some abs, and you'll really enjoy that. I don't have camel toe, do I? That's so not hot. <laughs> this is another good Does one. Does that hurt? No. <laughs> this is really good. This is really kind of a naughty stretch. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure other females look and like, oh my god, whore. Because I know I would, right? Because that's how us females are. We'll see a girl and we'll be like, oh my god, bitch, nice ass. She probably fucks all day and all night. And then we see her, right? And we're like, hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> These females need to learn to love each other. But this is a. <laughs> it's true, right? I quite agree. Yeah. Pull it in like this. Answer the phone. Now, how long did it Hello? take you? Hello? 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 How long did it take you to learn to stretch like that? that that's more than yoga, right? Well, my first boxing instructor. Trainer turned out to be a total douchebag. That's another story for my documentary. Um, had me do it's called the candlestick in yoga at the headstand, mm -hmm. and then this is the plow. And you go plow. that way. But um, mm -hmm. I was a cheerleader for eight years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I just over the years have learned. Been in the gym since I was 17, and in sports since you know. So you just pick up stuff as you go along. So eventually I'll get. All this combined and put on one little video so everybody can have it for easy access. Ah, uh, 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 females, I want you my kind easy access. Crazy. <laughs> but you know what's funny is because when I worked at 24 Hour Fitness for a number of years in sales, mm -hmm. uh, if I had a dollar for every time I heard a woman say, you know, I'd say, why do you want to work out? What's your motivation? How, how do you see yourself? Well, I want to, I want to get trim, you know. I want to tone up, but I don't want to bulk up. I don't want to like big muscles. I just want to be toned, you know. And it's like we equate the word big to something bad. It's like I have people say, "Oh, well, you got big legs." I'm like, "Fucker!" You know, big is not bad. Big is beautiful. You mean strong. So I think it's really starting to take hold, and a lot of women are realizing that having the strength and this. Power is something that is just mind blowing. And men just, I, and I had no idea. And I'll I can get into that at a later day because it's a pretty exciting topic. And I really mm -hmm. would like to turn the rest of the women in the world onto it so they know. But, um, Norris, thank you for having us. It's our pleasure. Hey Z, thank you for coming to Bill's Jim Oakland. Our model is really quite simple. We strive to provide our customers not only with the best product that their money can buy, 
but with the best customer service that our hearts can provide. So we hope you enjoy your time here. And at 600 Grand Avenue, right? Oakland, California. The best. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Great workout. Thanks for the tips. Oh, I have so much more. I mean, it's ridiculous. So much more. So stick around. And we'll actually plan it out this time so you can actually take some shit home with you. I should stop cursing so much. Maybe it'll be my New Year's resolution. For 2012!